Hi everyone, this is MIT postdoctoral fellow Katie Borman. She led a team, international team of scientists to create the first image of an actual black hole. This is that image. I'm just going to let that sink in. Now, lest you think this is something that happened by accident, it wasn't. Developing the image that you see is something that Ms. Borman had been interested in in quite some time, going all the way back to high school at West Lafayette, Indiana. A professor took note of her interest, and she continued her studies at the University of Michigan. And that's where she first found out about the opportunity to join a team that was working on developing the image that you see here. She entered the University of Michigan in 2007. So given that this is 2019, that's obviously 12 years ago. So basically this image, or at least the algorithm that created it, has been in the making for 12 years. Here's what also said about it on social media. And more important, here's what I found. This is a TED talk I found that was given by Ms. Or professor Borman, who's now slated to be a professor at Caltech this year. She gave this speech in 2007. It's 12 minutes long. What I'm about to play for you is the most important part. But one thing predicted from this theory black holes still have not been directly observed. Although we have some ideas to what a black hole might look like, we've never actually taken a picture of one before. However, you might be surprised to know that, that it may soon change. We may be seeing our first picture of a black hole in the next couple years. Getting this first picture will come down to an international team of scientists, an Earth-sized telescope, and an algorithm that puts together the final picture. Although I won't be able to show you a real picture of a black hole today, I'd like to give you a brief glimpse into the effort involved in getting that first picture. Now, I'm not going to show the rest so, of this. So my name is Katie Bauman, and I'm right a PhD here. student at MIT. I do research in a computer science lab right. that works on making computers see through images and video. But although I'm not an astronomer, today I'd like to show you how I've been able. That it's most important that you watch the rest of it. You can find it here. That's her page. She's now at Caltech. And that's her About Me page. And her background. And this is the news. First results from the Event Horizon Telescope will be announced simultaneously in Washington, 